Hello everybody, it's The Creative Chris. Thank you for coming and spending some time with me today. I want to say that right off the hop here today. Um, I appreciate your support of this channel. If it's your first time, there's a button, one corner's not sure which one. This is all backwards now. So uh, yeah, you can hit the subscribe button. You can then hit the notification bell, hit the word all, you will be notified each and every time that I upload a new video. It's a wet, rainy day here today. Brings everything down. I don't know why. It doesn't seem like I, it doesn't seem like I have as much energy today as I probably should. But here we go. If you're coming back, thank you. I so appreciate you coming and spending some time with me. It means a lot. Um, thumbs up, likes, everything works for the channel. It makes it makes the channel grow. It really, really, really is appreciated by me. As you can see behind me, I have finished Rebirth. You probably saw in that I had a live video of me actually finishing that. I've put it on the wall like I promised I would, and there was an empty space there, and that's on the wall behind me for all of my intros. So that's there, and it is absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. I loved the painting. i not gonna lie, I did get fatigued throughout the process of it. It is a large, large piece, and I had to power through some of it. But I got it done, and I'm very proud of myself for getting it done. And I wanted to say, a personal thank you to Rose Prophet for creating this. The journey was amazing. It was heavy. It was, it meant a lot. And the meaning behind that piece for me is different than what other people have. But it meant so, so, so much to me to be able to finish that. Um, what do I have today? Hmm. I have a unveiling. It's not an unboxing. I've already opened the box. There were four paintings in that box. I'm going to show you one today, and it's um, part of a series. So you'll, you'll see. You'll see in just a minute. Um, I opened the box because I didn't want to do four unboxings all at one time. So it's going to be over the course of four videos that you're going to see what I actually received. It is from Uniquely Yours Down Under Rose Crawford Creations, where most of my canvases come from. I am an affiliate, and there is a link in the description box below that you can go and check out Uniquely Yours Down Under if you would like. If you want to purchase something there, if something really, really speaks to you like this screamed at me, you can, you can order it. Um, they have a choice of round, square, regular canvas, soft lint, double-sided adhesive, poured glue. They have choice of everything. You can choose basically what you get. Uh, there will also be a code in the description box below. It's the channel name, The Creative Chris. You can use that code and save yourself 10% on your entire order. If you order more than one canvas, you can save 10% on your whole order. So it's not just like 10% on one canvas, you pay regular price for the other. No, it's 10% on your whole order. Every order, you can use my code and you can save 10% on every single order. With that said, in the spirit of transparency, I receive a small commission when you use that code. And I appreciate it so, so much. I've had so many people use my code for their orders. I've had some large orders, I've had some small orders. It doesn't matter. Every order that uses my code is so appreciated. I use the money from the commissions to purchase things from Uniquely Yours Down Under to bring back to the channel to show you what they offer. So this, none of this was purchased using those commission funds. I did purchase a canvas using those, using the commissions and it is going to be in a later video and I will reveal that when it comes because it's it's you that made that possible 
Uh, this was all purchased with my own money. I've been funding this channel right from the beginning with my own money. There is a link as well to the coffee, Ko-Fi, whatever you want to call it. If you would like to donate to that and support the channel, that would be greatly appreciated. There are a few things that I need. Um, I'm not asking for money. I never would ask you for money. But if you want to donate, it's completely up to you. It's not expected. It is always very much appreciated. I've had one person so far donate to the channel through that. And you know who you are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It is going to be used for supplies, basically, for the channel. I need to upgrade a couple of things that I have, and I... It's, that's what it's going to go for. I need a new tripod. I need a ring light. I need a few different things that I could buy on my own. They are a little bit more costly. I'm buying the paintings to show you. So if you can help, great. If you can't, great. Subscribe. That don't cost anything. I really 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 appreciate it. i know i've been rambling on here you you didn't come here to listen to me get on a soapbox <laughs> and just blurt everything out to you so we're going to get out on the kitchen floor and we're going to look at what i received one of the things that i received and we're going to enjoy that we're going to uh, tell the story behind it and let's go see you in a minute okay so you see a painting I hope you see a painting. <laughs> the way the camera is set up, I can't actually see it on the screen. It's there. I know it's there. I can see it on my actual kitchen floor. So we're going to get down. We're going to unroll this painting and show you what I received. I hope you can hear me. You're probably going to see me popping in and out of the video here. But the painting is right there, I, I think. All right. So we're going to... Unroll this thing. Yep, you know what it is. It's Husks of Love. Is it going to flatten out? Or am I going to have to roll this back on itself? Let's take a look and see. I can probably just roll it back on itself on the edges here just to... Just to get it to flatten out just a little bit. I know, it's upside down, it's sideways. Okay, yeah, that note, really good. Okay, so we have Tusks of Love. It's the second canvas in the Endangered Species series. This is Asian elephants. I'm going to call it a dad and a baby. I'm thinking. Uh, I'm. Looks like a little. It looks like a dad and a little baby to me. I don't know why. It's a beautiful canvas. It is eighty by sixty centimeters. So it's not huge. It's not tiny. Um, it's it's a good. It's a nice canvas. It's a beautiful image. And I have number four of 35, as you can see down in the, down in the corner. Where, where am I? Down in the corner right there, you see Rose Prophet's initials and four of 35. So I am subscriber number four to this particular series. There's a drill on my floor. We'll get rid of that one. I find drills everywhere. I find them everywhere. So before we get into the drills and everything like that, we're going to take a look at the canvas. We're going to check and see if this thing is sticky. Yep. Yeah, she's good and sticky. Let's put that cover back on. Whoops, I hit something there. So this one it has two pieces of cover plastic on it. So if you work from the top, you can work with one piece of plastic open 
if you do cover cover paper release paper yeah that, that thing those things you can take it off and put your release papers on i'm going to give it a quick measure because i want to make sure that it is true to size just so you guys know that what you're getting is actually accurate it's 80 that way it should be 60 this way it is 60 this way so when they say 80 by 60 for your canvas it's not the actual canvas size it's the picture size the canvas is going to be a little bit larger this one has 39 colors there are no ab's in the endangered species series if you want to purchase this canvas you can because they have the ones that are available without subscription on the one off side on the one off side of that it's under the endangered species part of the of the uh, web page there's my drills um, we're going to open that bag and take a look at what the colors are as you can see the color palette is a bit muted for this one there's some oranges and browns and greens and stuff like that so let me turn this over we're going to come back to the canvas in in a little while but first we're going to look at the the drills and if you don't like the crinkle just mute for a second came in over there you will receive a inventory sheet your inventory sheet is a sticker what I do with this I actually copy it no no copyright infringement I copy it for my own uses I use the copy then to work my canvas I cut this thing up and I use this on my storage containers I use the color and the symbol, the symbol and the color on my storage containers. I cut out the image and I put it in my journal. I put the start date and the end date and any notes that I, any notes that I have about the canvas on that page so that I can go back to it later. And to prove to you that it is a sticker, I will separate it just to show you that this is a sticker sheet, if I can get it to come apart. Mm -hmm. Talk amongst yourselves while I struggle with this. I almost had it. I got it. No, no, yes, no, maybe. Okay. It is a sticker sheet. Okay, let me put that back together. And you get the sticker sheet with the soft link canvases. And these specific canvases only come in soft lint. There is only one size. You can still choose round or square. I have chosen square. I'm going to zoom you in just a little bit, just so that you can see what I have. All right, we're gonna take a look at colors. Colors of drills, and they all come pre-bagged in little Ziploc bags. So it's easy. If you want to work out of, zip, out of the Ziploc bags, you certainly can. I choose not to. I don't like to work out of these baggies. I always kit everything up. We're just going to turn them all over just so you can see the variety of colors that we have. I'm not going to go through every single color. I'm just going to show you that the it's just so that you get a feel for the palette and to see what this particular canvas is going to bring to you. They're all labeled with the color number, the DMC code. I don't know if you can see that. They're all labeled with the DMC code on the bag, the weight, and it has the artist's name and the size. So it's easy for you to find if you store your drills separately. And we have a couple of little travelers in here. I know Tinker calls them travelers. I call them hitchhikers, party animals. 
So these are square drills. And as you can see, the quality on these are very good. Whoops, there we go. The quality on them is very good. Um, they are, I've used their square, square drills quite a bit. I actually only order square from Unique New York down under now because I like the way that their square, square drills are. So you can see the colors. We have a good variety of colors. We have some greens, some blues, some orange and earth tones. So it kind of works. This canvas works really well with these colors. There's some darker colors, there's some lighter colors. There will be a little bit of confetti. We're gonna get into that now after I move all of this out of the way. Like I said, I'm not gonna go through every color. When you get your canvas, you will see what every color is, but it, I'm not going to go through every single one of them here today. It's just going to take too, too long. All right. So we're back with our, I'm hoping that I have them in shot, in frame. Yes. Yes, they are in frame. Perfect. Let's zoom you out again. Let's get you right there. Yeah, and I can just pull this, scooch this down just a little bit so that it's, the whole thing is in frame. Yes. All right, so we have two elephants and they're kind of walking toward you. It's great. The background has some confetti. It has a bit of confetti up around here and over here. Uh, there's a little bit of color blocking here and there. This is actually all confetti but it's a color block, but it's confetti too. So I don't know if you understand what I mean. And you get the canvas, you will know. So we have the tusks of the, of the daddy elephant here. We have the little elephant, and they're actually holding trunks. Those well, prophets initials, four of 35. I'm going to zoom you way in to take a look at, no, actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to lift the canvas up so that we can take a look at the symbols and the thumbnail, if I can get this to work for me. So there's our thumbnail. You have one on each side of this canvas, one on the lower left, one on the top right, and you have your colors, your color list. There is no 310 in this canvas. I know a lot of people don't like 310, and you can get a feel for what the drill, the drill field looks like as well. Symbol quality looks fairly good. The drill field is really clear. It is very clear. As you can see, the drill field is pretty good and clear. And I've noticed that with the uniquely yours down under canvases, the soft lint ones anyway, all of your symbols are technically the same just different colors. So you get used to what you're working with. So we've got our drill field. So I really, I like this, this canvas. It's really, really pretty. It's a, uh, it's an endangered species. So yeah, you get to, to support some animals while you work on a craft that you really, really enjoy. So yeah, with that said, that's a nice canvas. It is really, really nice. I'm working on one now of this series. This is the second one in the series. This is February's canvas, but it was late getting out because there was some issues with the supplier. Um, no fault of the company. They were fully transparent and letting us know that they were going to be late. And that's why I didn't receive this one to show you earlier. And mama said hi. Yeah, she got to have her two cents, doesn't she? <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we love it when Mama comes to say hi. So that's our canvas. We are going to work on that one after I get Huzini done, which is in progress. And if you look back at the other videos, you would have seen that uh, I had a little bit of a progress video going on that one last week. So yeah, that's a, uh, that's Tusks of Love. It's a really nice, really nice little canvas. So again, like I said, you can subscribe. I would love to have you as part of my 
little world here and uh, join me on my journey. It's been um, it's been a little bit of a whirlwind lately. I'm getting close to 400 subscribers and absolutely loving it. So yeah, I uh, I'm gonna be looking forward to doing this one. Not gonna be part of any event or anything like that. I'm going to work on these as I have time. I'm working on one now. I'm working on another piece as well. So I work on a couple of pieces at a time. I kit them up, get them going, and we're good. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll take a look at the next one in the next video. Well, actually, I have the next one in the series, and that's what's going to be coming next for you. You may get that one in a few days. Oops, I just knocked something over. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, we have a couple of little, really little, really cute little elephants here. And I know some of you in the community really enjoy the elephants. So if you enjoy elephants, you can get this particular canvas. Thank you very much for joining me today. I really, really, really appreciate your support. And we will be seeing you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.